Alrighty, so we got Tracker Base versus Heaven, our very own Peter. Yeah. Now I know Heaven's going to be playing a Ken recently. Yes, yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah, the Ken. But I, do, but I do think we've had a little bit of cars here. Um, I don't know what track I'm going to Mm. Oh, you should, yes, I do remember Heaven having a Kazuya. I'm not sure whether or not it'll come out in the tournament, but it would be pretty high. Yeah, it would be high. Like, I know, I do find that Kazuya quite fun to watch. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, chat, base is meant to be capitals on the um, on the HUD, on the HUD, but uh, it's all capitals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is Tracker Base a Steve? Steve? Is he a Steve? Now, I'm pretty sure Heaven's had a decent bit of Steam Mac experience because of a... Uh, uh, our very own uh, Breath Enthusiast will go. So. Yes, yes, yes. Peter, if if we're going up against a Steve, Heaven knows what he's doing. Brick Enthusiast and him play all the time in yeah, winners. True. So, I'm interested to see how it'll go. Um, you know, like, I do see like a lot of people complain about Steve, but I always think about him mm. in the sort of thing of like, the block stuff is so much creativity and like, expression yeah. that you can do. It's Honest, like, definitely one of the coolest like, abilities in the game. He's a well-designed character, but I think he definitely suffers from the um, DLC privilege a little bit. Yeah, true. It's, I remember a lot of people saying, why is Diamond here? Like, you can just have everything. Oh, is my Diamond goodness. Oh. Honestly, it's it's pretty crazy to have, like, a rolling command grab that sets up into a spike is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. But I, I I must say, it is very funny, like, the one fighting game Steve is in, he's absolutely bonkers. And you just see this dude, he's just running... He's just got a oh. goofy-ass animation, and he's just a menace. Honestly. I, um, I was speaking to some other players um, last night at the Money Match night, yeah. and um, people just talked about how if you are a player that reads animations, like when you're trying to read a yeah. tech, it's near impossible oh, for Steve, because yeah. he's just a, essentially a block. <laughs> and, he only, and he has like, such like goofy moves. Like, he oh, does. It? Yeah, just like... Some strange movement. But yeah. this, um, judging by Tracker Base's fan base... And from what we know about Heaven, I assume this is going to be a very, very close yeah. game. I feel like the scariest thing about Steve is that, like, it's scary to fight him up close, but you can't really zone him out or let him do what he wants. No. Because he's just like, oh, cool, dude, I'm mining. Mm. I'm getting where I've been grind on. And it's just like, it's yeah, it's such a cold, weird sort of, like, middle space. And I feel like if you're able to, like, outrange him at close range, like a swordy or something, maybe you'll do that. It's very much like the hero effect. Is you can't be so far away from him because then he gets resources. Oh, but if you're close, you're copying whatever he's just resourced. Yeah, true. Um, but um, main, my main kind of aim with Steve is to stop the mining, but it's easier said than done. Yeah, true. Especially if he like, puts up a wall. Oh, 100%. Okay, yeah. we've got Big Eyebrow Man versus Block Boy. So let's see. Now, immediately builds a wall. Maybe mm. there was a mining thing happening there. Honestly, that wall might have been a bit of a fake out because it's an aggressive start, jumping over the wall and attacking. I would have expected a yeah. wall in mining. Got to grab decent bit of percent and oh, oh my goodness, fifty-four percent. Standard, standard seafer. Yeah, I think that nice save on the jump there. Mm. But wowza, that was a really clean seventy-seven percent. Yeah. Sword upgrader now. Heaven needs to make sure he snaps that ledge because if he doesn't. Very well placed up there. Ooh, it's up there. Ooh, doesn't kill. Still got a jump? Yep. Got a jump. Hits him. A little bit of a. See, like. A weird trade there. Did you see that? Yeah. It's like the interesting thing is it feels like it's never really over for Ken because, like, he gets one good combo, you're dead. That's it. Um, the up smash will take first stop. We've got a little bit of screaming coming from the other side of the venue. It's our very own armor. Interesting box there. Yeah, um, using the blocks to block out like mid-air attacks mm, is a very yeah. creative move. Huh. You know, after this, you jump off. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Get yep. yeah. Oh, get up here. Alrighty. Yeah. So, heaven, honestly, still I think getting a feel for this Steve in particular. Yeah. It does play a little different to our brick enthusiast. Yeah. Getting, getting to mine and yep, gets a kill. Straight into the approach yeah. into the Shoryu. Can we even it out? Ooh. A parry? Yeah, it was the... ready for it. Yeah. Wowza. I'm sure he's been in that situation against Ghost. Like, is that, is that the lava, that move? Um, or like uh, fire brick? I don't know. <laughs> it's a, that's just, I think that's just like a magma block or something. Mm. Oh, misses, misses to confirm into the, um, into the Shoryu. But Track back it. on stage. Mm. He's got like he's got like gold gold weapons, which means he is faster now. Wow. 
Yeah, Tracker feeling himself. Yes. Happy holding shield, which is honestly, it's a bit of a hit or miss against Ken. Because you don't want to get your shield broken either. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, cart trading with down air. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, but it's like. I felt like the game was paused for a split second and yes. then I was like, oh yeah, this is what's going to happen. Spot. The, the game just processed like all the hit stun right in that yeah. moment. Yeah. And we're back to a relatively even game, but tracker base making up a lot of percent real fast. Pools. Let's go from something. Has to jump over the minecart though. Yeah, that cart stays active for way too long. Yeah. Anvil Anvil's almost on. taking it. Oh. But Ken Thick. Oh, he goes for another spike and Ooh. unable to tech that. Wow. Yeah, missing the tag. That was pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, I'm kind of through that, like yeah. that start, back to where it was at. Mm. Really well done. I think from that, yeah, from that opening in neutral, tracker base held it and was really, yeah, really true. clean. Can we hear some tracker base hype in the chat? Let's see what we get here. I'm not sure what you would want into, into Steve, since it's like, mm. go for a longer stage, there's more room to set up his bullshit and start mining, go for a shorter stage, less room for Steve to milk up, because like, like his only real weakness is the range of his attacks. So That's like, it, yeah. Um, I'm not too sure on Steve's stage counter picks. I'm thinking, if I were Heaven, I'd be going for a lower ceiling. If anything, uh, uh, just trying like just get the short use. Yeah, just getting those short use off a little earlier. Yeah. That being said, I don't think Tracker Base survived very many kill moves like for very long. So yeah, it's a very interesting kind of point. Like, do we want us to live longer, or do we want them to die sooner? Mm. Small battlefield it is. I think there's a lower ceiling. I'm not too sure. Alrighty, game two. Game two. Immediate size mine for a little bit. Ooh. Good progression. Nice clean 35%. It's another bit, 63. Okay, yeah, starting it off kind of the reverse of last game. Yeah, We're Ooh, parrying it. Wowza. Yeah. Parries it, was ready. I know Steve's out of shield options aren't so bad in front, but I'm pretty sure behind is a little bit of a weakness. Ooh, who's broker Alex is suitable? Ooh. Anvil. Nothing. Chance. Yeah. Showing us again how strong it is. And drops shield so it doesn't get shield broken. Yes. He's just gonna take that there. Off stage. Steve will make it back. See, now that move, it's horizontal oh, recovery is better than it's vertical. Yeah. You've got to be very conscious of that. It's a weird movement up there. That is unfortunate for Tracker Base, who's been looking pretty clean so far. 112%, nothing to laugh at. Mm. That's scary. Um, Heaven showing that all he wants is a little bit extra percent and to stay alive at this point. So we're not going to overcommit. Yeah. I respect what he's got down. Tracker Base with a creative approach. I did not know that could Respect, like that. respect. So now, I, so now I know where he's been going for a couple of those. Mm. Ooh, gets a good focus attack off. Uses the minecart for safe recovery back on stage. Mm. I did not know, not know up B sets up into that. That's Yeah, a, same. That is scary. Mm. But again, using that horizontal movement very well. Ooh, tries to roll, gets hit by a minecart into a combo, gets out. Tracker base making back that shield Ooh. so we're not so small anymore. Oh no! Oh! The block coming in clutch. I did not know that was a set. That's scary. Oh, he's just gonna. I thought he was gonna yeah. try and storm just mine and get forced to just not kill him. We have a diamond on deck. Yeah, that's the scary thing. It's like. Yeah, now that, a, now that tracker base is dead, he's just gonna immediately start that mm. and face the hardest part of the, hardest part of the game because now. Look at that damage of like one four day. It's yeah. scary. The um the scary not scary thing, the thing that's really um, knocking Peter about is the missed tax at the moment, which is very unfortunate. Yeah. Oh my goodness, oh. and that's a diamond hit as well. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Oh what do you do? It's yeah. Well, very well played from Tracker yeah, Base. Very cool. Quite a close game. Quite a close game indeed. Peter's got the next one for sure. Sure. 